What's your fantasy queen? Um, short term or long term? Short term. Short term? Um, I'm actually my fantasy is stepping out of my comfort zone and I have social anxiety, so I'm stepping out and I wanted to just talk. Um mm. my long term fantasy. That one's a hard let's one. Start, let's start I wanna start let's start let's start with the short term and then we'll get into the long term. Uh, okay. So you have a you have a, you have a, you have a social anxiety, mm-hmm. and um, social anxiety. You know, is it is it now? This is a telephone conversation. Yes. And do, do telephone conversations typically make you anxious? Um, what makes me anxious is talking to people I don't really know, and unfortunately, everybody I grew up with moved out of town, so mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't really have too much of a choice nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um. So, the, so the 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 me, the medium does not matter to you. You would be equally as anxious or not anxious. You know, uh, phone or in person. All that matters uh, is is whether or not you you know. What matters is your level of, of familiarity with the person that you were talking to. I would say yeah. Mm. Do you do you feel like? Uh, how long have you been watching my stream for? Um, this is actually my first stream, but I've picked you up on, I think it's TikTok. Um, I've picked you up here and there. Sure. Do you, do you feel familiar with me at all? Um, I feel familiar enough, (laughs) if that makes sense. Okay. Familiar enough to not feel very anxious. Uh, no, I mean, I do still feel a little bit anxious, but I'm not like too concerned. It's not like overcoming my thoughts, if that makes sense. Yes. How are you dealing with the variable of people um, listening to this right now? Does that bother you or or influence the way that you're feeling in any way, shape, or form? Honestly, it really doesn't bother me because it's the – it's like the concept of having a conversation with somebody at the mall. Like, other people can hear you. You just got to get it through your head that it's – nobody's going to act on it. it. It's not necessarily – too much to concern yourself with. You're you're very confident. You know, I I, I commend you. Um, what did you say, your name? Was? Thank you. Uh, my name is Queen. Queen, I commend you because um, you know you, you sort of framed this conversation as you stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, and I, I know that the way that we uh, uh, you know project ourselves outwardly is not always the same as how we feel on the inside. But uh, mm-hmm. I mean, outwardly, you're projecting yourself um, pretty comfortable. Yeah, well, like I said, my fantasy is stepping out of my comfort zone into a place where I'm a lot more comfortable with it. So this has been happening for a few months now, so I would say that I'm doing pretty well. What is your long-term fantasy? Um, My long-term fantasy is not, not like the get up, get out of town type of thing, but uh, I definitely want to go to a place where I feel by myself. And confident enough to live on my own, if that makes sense. So you actively so – this is interesting to me. Um, you know, I like what you're doing. I like the way that you are approaching your life because you have stated to me that you are anxious uh, talking to people that you are unfamiliar with. I assume <laughs> that anxiety extends to um, – being anxious in uh, situations and places that you are unfamiliar with, and um, I don't know if that assumption is correct. No, you're correct. But uh, here you are, strong desire to go somewhere in which you are familiar with no one and nothing. Yeah, and I think that that's part of the journey that I need to go through is getting that comfortability with myself to say, hey, yeah, I don't know anybody here. I can still move on and I can still 
go to places where I don't know anybody. I like that. I like that. You know? Yeah. I like that. It's not about the... It's not about having a a lack of fear, queen. Yeah. It's not about a lack of fear, but about uh, the ability to overcome that fear, to take action on it. Yeah. I like that, queen. Where I, do you want to go? I, oh, where do I want to go? Um, Honestly, I haven't put too much thought into that. Just because right now I'm still in the journey of you know, getting myself comfortable with that. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I would want to go to like a big city, but I'm currently on the East Coast. And I don't think I necessarily want to go like to the Midwest or West Coast. So I think I'd probably stay somewhere on the East Coast. You should go to Russia. What, Russia? You should go to Russia. Okay, why, why do you think that? I mean, their alphabet is completely different from ours. You don't know anyone in Russia. Um, you're not even familiar with the language that people speak there. I mean, you'll just be completely and utterly engulfed in unfamiliarity and and um, and terror. And I think that could be really yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll put some I'll put some consideration into Russia. Good. Good. I commend you on your journey, and I wish you good luck, Queen. Of course, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Of course. Mm, bye. Call from... Uno, the second time. Two. Uno. Hello? How are you, Uno? Oh, shit, dude, I made it. I'm good. You did. What's up? What's up, Uno? What is up, you say? Yes. Um, I'm sitting in my chair. Good. I'm on the phone with a dude in a green suit on the internet. Yep. Perfect. You seem very grounded in reality. I try to be. Really? Do you, is that an, that's an intentional thing that you, uh, work hard to be? Is it, is in touch with reality? I, I try to make it such that the things that leave my mouth are never false. Um, it's hard, it's hard work, you know, it doesn't always go according to plan, but what's your exact uh, address? Kind of do it. Um, I click the fifth. See, in that situation, you wouldn't, you didn't have to tell me your address. You could just tell me that you don't want to give me your address, which is the truth. I honestly, I could have, but I chose, I went for the humor, I went for the humor. I don't know, um, is pleading the fifth of uh, a joke? Because that's a real thing that people do. Yeah, it was supposed to be a joke. That is a real thing that people do. Do you consider yourself funny? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, yeah. What does? Can you sort of describe what an ideal situation for you to be funny would look like? An ideal situation for me to be funny is one where I'm trying to impress people and not be um, the truthful one. You know, I feel like I'm either trying to be speaking all truth all the time or trying to be likable. And when I'm trying to be likable, I'm trying to make jokes. I'm trying to be charismatic, you know. Mm. So the desire to have people like you is sort of like lights a bit of a fire under you, your ass. And, um, that propels you, that motivates you to try to be funny. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. But honestly, it's not very fun. It's not very fun. Actually, give me one second. Chat, can you hear Uno? Uno, why is it not very fun? Um, because a lot of the times I'm making jokes and it's just like the shit I'm saying isn't even fucking funny, bro. A dude is just in pain. Like I'm I'm laughing as I say this, uh, almost, and 
not shit is funny. This is just me talking about how sometimes I'm hurting and make jokes about it. Do you do you think that uh, so so is be let me ask you is being funny unnatural yeah. to you is it something that like you you feel like you're forcing yourself to do because you think other people might like you better if you were funny or do you feel like you I are I a think funny person I think that's I think that's definitely how it was um, when I was younger and the more stressed I am the more that can sort of be what happens. But um, I don't know. I guess if I'm more relaxed and I'm comfortable with who I'm talking to, usually I can be funny without really intending to. Sometimes people will be like, "Oh my God, you're so funny!" And I'll be like, "I actually wasn't making a joke." So thanks to you, thank you, anyways. Absolutely right. You're funnier when you're not trying to be. Yeah. You know, you're more yourself when you're not like trying to be things. Oh yeah. And yes, when you're more yourself, yourself, you're more comfortable, and then that makes you funnier. I wish I knew who this self guy was. You wish you knew who this self guy was. Yeah, man. I'm one of those um, 10 quirky people on the planet who don't know who they are. You're one of 10 quirky people on the planet who don't know who they are. You don't That's know an exaggeration. It's are. not 10, but yeah, how, I don't know how, who I am, how old are you? I'm 19. I turned 19 today. Today is my birthday. Happy, happy goddamn birthday! What'd you do for it? You go, did you drink some, eat cake? Oof. Um, I I got I got a couple of McDonald's sandwiches. I got a good gosh darn three hours logged on TikTok, and I got here, dude. I got Perfect. here on your stream. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so you're 19. You don't know who you are. Yeah, like, what do I even mean by that? Like, I don't even know, dude. Mm. What, what, okay. When you say you don't know who you are, like, what would you like to know about yourself that you do not know? I want to know, first and foremost, what is being referred to by the word I. You know, when I say I, what am I? You're, you're what's, the, what's asking? That's a name so that people know which body they're referring to. Sure. But it's like, are we talking spiritual like? Are we talking about like the ego and the self and the soul and all that jizz? Whoa. I mean, okay. Well, you're a person and I'm a person, and we oh, we gecko. each got bodies. <laughs> you're a gecko. <laughs> we each got bodies, and we don't consider ourselves to be the bodies. So it's like, if we don't consider ourselves to be our bodies, then what do we consider ourselves to be? And I don't know what I consider myself to be. That's I think that's what I mean. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. You don't consider yourself your body. You consider yourself your mind. You you're 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 putting a lot of pressure on yourself right now. I think that's what I would think. You know, I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe you like these sort of expl explorations of. Uh, of 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 sort of spiritually like who am I? I'm 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 talking more so, a little more more grounded like, you know, like the type of what, what, personality, like, what's your personality I am. What type, like, oh, you know, okay. When you're in like a social situation, and you are being yourself, you know, what does that look mm -hmm. like? Versus like, you know, do you find yourself in situations where like you make a joke or you say something, and then right afterwards you're like. You know, I just said that because I wanted people to like me or because I wanted to come off. That way. That's not how I actually am. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. As far as. Um, no, no. When I make jokes, um, it, I usually don't have to stray too far from my own like, values or beliefs to, you know, try and make somebody laugh, even when it feels like I'm tryharding. Um, but as far as my personality yeah i feel like i'm i get around people and i'm trying to not be a bad person i, I feel like I, like every moment is like a struggle to not be a bad person on the one hand and i feel like one way that i i do that is to try and be likable and nice and funny you know um 
Right, but does that the idea of trying to be likable and nice and funny sounds exhausting? It's it is it is very exhausting. So don't do that. Don't try to be likable and nice and funny. Just just be. My fear is that if I don't try to be a person that people like, well, I'll I might stand still in the room full of people and not say anything. I, I might leave the room of people. Is there anything wrong with or, that? Just existing in the room of people and not saying anything? I did it once while on drugs. And people, people started making fun of me. Um, is, is it, it important was, that people don't make fun of you? I, I think it is to me. Why is it important that people don't make fun of you? I, I think my worth might be connected to um, how people see me. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel good about myself when people are making fun of me. And, you know, look, that's a problem, you know, you're only 19, you know, that's, that's a problem that a, a lot of people have. Um, and it, I think if you recognize that as a problem and you make it sort of a, a, a quest, a mission to, uh, you know, avoid that and to shift where your sense of worth comes from, uh, from other people to a knowledge of yourself as a likable and funny person uh, that needs not be validated by other people, um, you'll be happier. And that does not happen mm -hmm. overnight by any means. But um, if you look at that as a goal, I, I, I think you'll <laughs> at least be able to walk the path. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Um, you're saying this, and I, like halfway through your, you saying it, I'm thinking like, I wonder what the people in chat are saying about me right now. I should go in there sure. and look and see what they're saying about me. Don't and um, yeah, no, not gonna do that. That wouldn't be a good idea. Um, thanks. Yeah, and by the way, I'm still doing this right now. I, you know, I throughout this uh, like this stream, I've made the decision not to like look at how many people are watching or like look at what chat says. You know, because, you know, I, I, again, it's just something that everyone has. Everyone, like, you know, at, at least is interested in, you know, uh, in, in some way, shape, or form, like, how other people are viewing them. But, like, the... And, you know, when I'm not, like, looking at the chat, and I'm just focusing on this conversation that I'm having with you, and I'm not thinking mm -hmm. about how it's coming off to anyone, I'm a lot okay. happier and I'm a lot more engaged in the conversation. Um, because I'm not, like simultaneously trying to talk to you while engaging with the bullshit thoughts of how I'm coming off, how you're coming off, how anything else is coming mm -hmm. off. I'm I'm just talking to you. I'm just being. Yeah. I think I think you're doing good stuff here. Now now that I've I've spoken to you. I found your stream like your your TikToks a couple of weeks ago and I saw one of them and I was, I wanted to check it out you know, when I got on here and I saw you talking to people and I started getting these bad vibes. I was thinking this just seems like a superiority context, contest, some type of, of place where we just judge everybody's personalities. Like dude on there was trying to tell you he, he's broken you down, you know, he's figured you out or whatever. And like, I didn't it seemed gross to get involved with, but it feels more now like this is like, you say you're not an actual therapist, but I think, that you just therapied me pretty well and all it took was you asking good questions and me being able to um to answer them truthfully so i think well, how like, do you feel about the things that we've talked about um i feel good it, it felt nice to express myself you know i don't know i don't always have someone interested enough in me to um give me a reason to talk about like why i do things or how i feel sure you know i um I understand the impulse of like being afraid of people make fun of you or being a, you know super conscious of uh, what other people think of you because a it's something that everyone has and you know b it's something that you especially have when you're younger. Um, but dude, I really think if you know you start making it a mission to uh, not care what other people think of you and uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
sort of what be, begin begin the eternal journey of uh, you know placing placing uh, finding worth within yourself and not from other people. Um, I think you'll you'll see some improvement. You know, especially yeah. as you get older. Um, I hope you do that. You know, don't 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 so. try to be funny and try to be likable or try to be anything. Just just be yourself. It's so funny to me because we learned that in kindergarten. Like, be yourself and like. That's not I, what I, I, You know, I, I I it's it's one of those like cliche things that everyone always says. But uh, the I, the older I get, the more I think about it. It's like a, a really kind of important important idea. Yeah, it's just much easier to live life that way, you know, not worrying about how you are, but just being. You know. Listen, I'll you know, try. Uh, thank you for sharing with us, and uh, hope you have a good rest of the night. And I hope that you uh, don't check uh, the Twitch chat in the next five minutes. Yeah, me too. Beautiful. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. Call from Lamar. Gek. Hey. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, what's your fantasy, Lamar? Ooh. Uh, probably being an astronaut. Why being an what? astronaut? I think the whole concept of, of like uh, exploring, going somewhere that uh, other people have never gone before, I think that's a cool, cool fantasy. Like space. Yeah, yeah. Well, pe- people have gone to space before. Uh, I mean, people have gone. It's, this is true. Uh, I mean. A very few people, though. And, okay, so it doesn't uh, matter that a lot of it doesn't matter that literally nobody has gone there before. It just matters that it is not a, a lot of people have gone. Uh, sure, sure, yeah, I think so. That'd be fine. You know, something to explore. Something to you know. Someone has said, uh, you no. Know, this is what I think it is, and then you know someone else can still have an opinion about it. Now, over what's behind uh, all this stuff? I'm curious about the fact that your desire to go to a place is not founded upon anything really having to do with the place itself, but primarily upon. Um, the place in relation to uh, other people in the world and the fact that they have not gone to it. I mean, I think I have some, a little bit of both. I, I, I mean, I'm truly interested in space. Uh, truly interested in the universe, you know, uh, and, and it's, uh, it's infinite expanse. Um, what is out there. Um, but I also think that it's important to, uh, to be self What do you find the most in... interesting about space? We don't know what's out there. <laughs> we don't know what's out there. Uh, we could, like, I could get on a rocket right now. I could get on a spaceship, right? Whatever it is that, Whatever Elon Musk is creating nowadays, and we can fly off into space for a million years, and uh, we still re- even reach uh, part of it, even a little bit. Of what do you, it. What do you now look? I know you don't know. Okay, I know you don't know, and I know that you've accepted that okay. you don't know. But make a guess. What do you think is out there? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I mean, I really couldn't fathom it, to be honest. Uh, I want to believe that we're not alone in the universe. I do want to believe that. Uh, 
I want to believe that there's places like Earth, uh, places that are as, as advanced as Earth, and, and places that are probably even more bar- bar- like barbaric than Earth, or, or as, uh, like, I don't know if that's even the right terminology, but as uncivilized as Earth, you know, like there's just a spectrum of, uh, of places that, you know, we could maybe uh, humble ourselves, like definitely humble ourselves against uh, other civilizations, but then, but then also be able to like reach out to another civilization and, and provide, like help teach, them, like maybe teach them or. You know or, what I think is out there? What's that? Space bears. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Space bears. You Giant know? green bears. Very unfriendly. Giant geckos. Not in the slightest bit interested in making contact with any other intelligent life for any reason other than to kill it. <laughs> not even eat it. Kill it just for sport. Just for fun. <laughs> and that is why I will never be an astronaut. Even if given the opportunity to go to space, I will decline out of a fear of space bears. I admire – what's your name? Lamar. Lamar, I admire the fact that you, regardless of the the fact that you acknowledge that the possibility of the existence of space bears – and other sort of dangerous stimulus in the universe still have a desire to go. I find that very admirable. I appreciate that. Still just a fantasy, but uh, at least we can talk about it. <laughs> thank you for calling, Lamar. Have a good rest of the night. Hey, thank you, sir. Bye. Call from Chloe. Chloe. Hello. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Good. How about you? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I I love your stream. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Um, what do you, what do you see, Chloe? What do I see? Yeah. Um, a laundry basket. Are you doing laundry? No, I should be, though. Um, hey, look, you're telling me my, my gecko suit smells like absolute B.O. As do all of my clothes, really. I feel that, man. Um, where are you calling from, Chloe? Tennessee. Tennessee. Do you like Tennessee? I mean, kinda. Not really. <laughs> why? Why only kind of? I mean, there's just a lot of crackheads here, man. Like, it's really ghetto, honestly. There's a lot of crackheads, you say? Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you ever um, you ever talked to any of these uh, people who you're referring to I as mean, crackheads? I mean, I'm a food service worker, so yeah. <laughs> and what, what, how do those conversations typically go? Um, they typically call in remakes and then they, uh, yell at me whenever I don't give them free food. They yell at you when you don't give them free food. Yeah. Even if Uh, they don't have a remake. (laughs) A remake? What's a remake? That's just like, uh, usually we write people's names down who has a remake and then... You know, people just call in and say that they have a messed up pizza, and then, yeah. Okay. So why why do you not like these crackheads, these, these people you're referring to as crackheads? Is it uh, because they yell at you? Yeah, they just scream at me all the time, and I hate it. It's like, man, I'm giving product away, and it gets expensive, and I get yelled at if I give away too much. Okay, so they ask you for for free food, and 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 you do give them some free food. Yeah, for the most part. For the most part, what? When do you typically, like, where do you draw the line? 
uh, when they're like really mean to me and they're calling me like a bitch and stuff. You know, what's your name? Chloe. Chloe. You know, Chloe, uh, you gotta understand, I think, that, uh, I think this might make you feel a little bit better. You know, I understand yeah. that, like, you know, when, when these people are yelling at you, um, maybe you take it personally. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you gotta understand that, uh, these people are, are dealing with some, uh, you know, some, 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 some fucked up shit, and their anger Man. is not is not at you, you know. So you yeah, can't take I it totally personally. Because if you take it personally, you're just gonna you're gonna let it get to you. For and the most I don't think I, I don't think anyone is excused from like, you know, talking to people like that. But uh, yeah. you, you can do your best not to take it personally for for your own sake. For the most part, I do give them free food, but I. There's just some people, if I'm getting cussed at, like, I don't deserve that, you know? I don't, if they I don't told think you me, deserve that at all. If they told me that they were hungry or if they just didn't have the money, I always give to those people. I just hate whenever people resort to calling me a bitch and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think you deserve that. I, I'm saying sort of for your own sake, <laughs> you know, like, like understand that... Uh, you know, people are calling you a bitch for their own. That's that's coming from their own problems and their own anger, not because you are a bad person or anything like that. Yeah, man. What kind of pizza do you give away? Uh, it's just all kinds, like uh, pepperoni pizza, and then we have like Ultimate Supreme. It's just honestly whatever they like call in saying that was messed up so is is it any good should i go i mean it's pretty good it's decent have you ever tried crack no good chloe yeah. thank you so much for sharing Thank you. Of course. It was a pleasure talking to you. And, uh... You too. I love you, Gek. I, I just can't believe this happened. I am so happy. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Pleasure. I appreciate you, Chloe. You have a good rest of the night. You too. Bye. It was very sweet. It was very sweet. I've gotten pretty good at um I don't want to say I've gotten pretty good that sounds that sounds boasty. I'm going to rephrase what I'm I'm going to let everyone forget the way I just started that so that I can say it. But um I have made it a point to start thinking more like that like when someone is like like if someone is like spitting venom at you or like calling you a cunt or a bitch or whatever. It's like you gotta re like do put in the reps of understanding that that's their problem. And when you do that, it, it I think it 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 makes it uh, sting less when it becomes a little bit le more depersonalized. I'd try crack. I don't know. If you got me in the right situation, I'd take a hit. I'd take, I'd take a hit of crack. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at like, I think I could, I think I could get away with one hit of crack and not get addicted. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. I know they say not even once, but I, they say not even once. But I look at that like I kind of, sometimes I look at that as like a challenge. Call from B. B. What's up, Gek? Uh, what's your fantasy, B? Um, I don't know if I have one. Why'd you call? <clears throat> I wanted to talk 
I'm really about. high, honestly. I forgot. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. How high? Uh, like, how high are you exactly? Um, probably like a nine on a scale of ten. Okay, I can let you go if you want. We don't. Have, this is no. Not a big deal. No, let's do this. All right. So when you said you wanted to talk. Did you? Do you mean you just wanted to talk, or about something, or? Well, Jim didn't seem like he wanted to talk, so. I just felt like it was appropriate to try and step in. I don't know. Okay. I don't think... Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I, You know, I... I and I, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I think I don't think you had a plan. But I, I admire the fact that um, you went in confidently without one. Because... Like, doing the thing was more important to you than um, being prepared to do the thing. And I and I, I mean that when I say that uh, I, th I, I think it's a more effective way of, of, of uh, going about your life. So I, yeah. I commend you. I don't know if it didn't, it didn't work, but I, I think that uh, – but I commend you for doing it because I – because you could have just sat paralleled in, in – you could have you could have sat there paralyzed with fear – I am parallel. Of, of the fact that, um, no, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You made the right call. No, like I'm because legit you... paralyzed from the tips down. Oh. You could have been paralyzed with fear and just not made any decision at all. Um, because you and, and waited until you were prepared, but that that's that's ineffective. Nothing gets done that way. When you said you chose to go in without a plan and fail, as opposed to taking no action at all, and I and I respect that. Yeah, dude. I just wanted to, you know, see how your night was going. See, uh, it's been a it's been a good one, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Well, look, man. This is my last call of the evening. Um, at this pretty loose point of the of the night. Uh, you don't have a fantasy. You don't have anything in particular. Is there anything in particular that you want to talk about to cap off this evening whatsoever? Um, I mean, not in particular. No. Cool. Sweet. All right. We did. We did it. I think. Did we? No. Well, I don't sure. Think who, we cares? Did. who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I, who cares? Who cares? I don't. Cares? I don't think we did. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Fuck it. Fuck it. Have a good rest of the night. Have a good rest of your life. Call from. Andre. Andre. Hello. How are you? I'm doing real good. You? Why are you doing so good? I can tell that you're not. I can tell you're not just bullshitting me. I can tell you're genuinely doing pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy to actually be talking to Gecko Boy over here. How are you doing, man? People don't ask me. Is that how you view me as as just a boy? No, I view you everybody as, as a boy. small little boy with a tiny little me gecko tail and meek little fingers. I think that's actually that a protection for me. As a, as a small boy? No, I think that's a protection for me. I think I'm projecting that onto you. I'm sorry. Okay, so you, all right, so we're here. We're, we've arrived immediately somewhere. You believe that you are projecting uh, this onto me, so you believe. So you view yourself as a boy. I might, I might. I've got some problems recently. Okay. What about you? Do do you believe is boyish? What do I believe is boyish? What do you mean by that? You are. You said to me uh, that you view me as a boy, and I said, "Is that true?" And you said, "No, I'm just projecting." And what that would mean is that you view yourself as a boy, and you're projecting that view of yourself onto me. So, what do you view about yourself that is boyish? 
Uh, man, the lack of wanting to do something. Mm. Man, I've I've never been stuck like this. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of helpful. It's bizarre. I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't actually looking for actual help, but here we are. Okay, you're stuck. And by the way, I I, I don't know if the classification. I don't know if the cla- the the idea of boys, like that, they don't want to do anything. Uh, boys are, do a lot of things. They run around. They play lacrosse. They scream. Why do you? What do you? So you're stuck. You say. You say you're stuck. What? Yeah. Uh, what, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 20. I just turned 20. You just turned 20. Okay. What? What have you done before? Anything? Uh, I mean, for I mean, recently I've been trying to go to the gym and everything, and for the past three days I haven't gone, so I just feel like shit. Why do you think you haven't gone? You're just too tired? Well, I started a job. Um, I I deliver concrete and uh, metals and uh, wood and stuff. So it's very labor intensive. And uh, recently I got fired from that job because I kept insulting my boss. And uh, yeah, now I'm just in a rut. Mm. Uh, well, first, well, first thing I want to say is, okay, you say you don't do anything, but you just described a ton of things that you were doing until you insulted your boss. So I don't think it's true that you don't do anything. Okay. What What did you say to your boss? What was the insult? Oh, man. Uh, I was just not talking to us properly, and I don't know why, but these guys that I work with just take it and don't say anything, so I was just trying to stand up for them, you know? And uh, this fucking dickhead, he, he keeps... I don't know if he can uh, swear here, but uh, this guy this guy kept pushing everybody's buttons, and you know, I was new, so I just... I gotta stand up for these guys. These guys don't look like they have no spines. I'm I'm not gonna let nobody insult people like that for no good reason. Like, this guy misplaced something and he got chewed out for no reason. I don't like that. Mm. He misplaced something and he got chewed out for no reason. When he got chewed out, and yes, you are allowed to say cuss words on him. Okay, poop. What what exactly did he say when he was chewing out uh, your coworker? Oh, he's talking about us being young and stupid and useless, and we don't know shit because all we do is play on PS twos and PS threes. I don't know what the fuck that means, but like, uh, yeah. And recently, I mean, I, for the past, I, I got fired. On I didn't go in uh, Friday. He called me Friday morning and said, "Man, you ain't coming in today." And I was like. Like, yeah, you're not coming in today. Go fuck yourself. I don't know. Like, this, this is stupid. I haven't been in the gym either. So he fired you because... what? Did, okay, all right. So he accused your coworkers of playing too much PlayStation. Too. Yeah, and, and being also stupid anymore. And then you looked at this and you thought, I, 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 I cannot in good faith let this man talk talk to... Talk to these people that way, even if they're not my friends. Just I, I can't let him talk to these guys this way. So what did yeah, you say? Exactly. What did you say to this um, to this older man? Who was I mean, your friends who play PlayStation. You know, I, I'm 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 just I didn't say nothing much, but it's just for the past week I've been there for like two weeks. For the past week, every single time he does that, which is multiple times a day, I call him out for it. And I just say, you know, in French, I'm French Canadian, so I just tell him. Yo, stop that, man. No reason. You know, we can all talk. Like, we're adults here. I mean, these guys are 24, 150 something. You know, he's talking mad shit to everybody for no good reason. Mm. Oh, damn. Why do you think he's so angry? What do you think happened to him to make him so angry? Your boss? Man, I don't know. He probably looked himself in the mirror, man. He probably broke that mirror. Okay, so you definitely you definitely have pride. You know, I, I I like that this is a story not of you um, having having so much pride that you're not willing to take it, but instead, um, you know, standing up for others. That's always admirable. 
Thanks, man. But recently, my, I think my problem is I, I, I can't go to the gym. I don't know why, man. Like, my only dream is to have enough money to, to not work no more and to go to the gym. Recently, I've got no money because I got no job, and I'm not going to the gym no more because I got no motivation. So I feel like I'm in a rut. Mm. Uh, how much money do you have right now? Right now, saved up. I've got, um, got like 4000 I'm in debt to like 2000 So net worth, I'm like, worth like 2000 bucks. What? Who, who are you in debt to? I have my credit card bills. Um. Okay. So, so before you had, what, what was this job doing? Delivering fucking crystals and shit. What were you doing before you did that? Uh, before I, I started uh, delivering uh, uh metals and uh and wood and stuff. Sure. Uh, I was uh, delivering pools, so not 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 much different. Well. Do you have any leads on a new on a new job? I don't really know how people get jobs delivering pools. I I I, I do. Uh, I got a I got a a a job. I just got a job. I just got hired to to make filters and stuff. Um, like uh, for big uh, production plants, like uh, air filters. Okay, so listen, man, you're out here talking about how you're a little boy with tiny little fingers and tiny little feet and a small penis, but yet you're doing stuff. You do things. You claim that you do nothing, but yet you make filters, which is which is not nothing. That is something. All right. Yo, but how 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 am I gonna get back to the gym? You 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 a therapy boy. You you a smart boy. You you the guy that has the big brains and the big uh, IQs and stuff. You got multiple cues. You got probably two cues. H- how are you gonna get me back to the gym, man? Well, I'll tell you. You know everything you said is is very correct. I am I am extremely intelligent, but um, I'm not exactly a gym rat, my friend. Not exactly a gym rat. Not exactly a gym guy. Not exactly someone with a lot of experience at the gym. You haven't indulged in the ways of the trend and the anabolic. That was a lie when I said I I knew things. You know Um, things. I know that you know things. But... Hmm. How do you get back into the gym? Well, I don't know because here's the thing. I've always found when I, again, I'm I'm such the not correct person to ask about this because um, I've tried to get into shape many many times and I have failed many many times. Um, I've had streaks where I was going to the gym pretty often and then those streaks dip down. Um, I don't know. You need some sort of motivation. Do you? It sounds like you actively want to go to the gym. Like, what's your motivation to go to the gym? You going to the gym? I'm gonna be really really honest with you. I really want to fuck that girl that I wanted to fuck in high school. Sure. So you know, it's I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm mostly kidding, not really, but I want to go to the gym to be to be that sick cunt that can do whatever the fuck you want, because you know you I'm, you, you want to be, you want to become sexually attractive. No, I want to get I want to become more sexually attractive. I want to be like uh, I want to make Ziz proud. I don't know, you know, who Ziz is. What is Ziz? Ziz is a he's a fitness influencer that died in 2011. Oh. I want to make him proud. Okay, well, it sounds like you have enough um, motivation, at least like mentally. You know, you you want to become more physically attractive so that you can have more sex. Which is a natural, you know, human impulse. Um, you have a, a, a idol whose wishes you would like to honor. I mean, think of those two things. You know? When you're, when you're, when you're, about to get, when you, when you, uh, don't feel like going to the gym, you know? Think about, um. Well, I went I to the gym was... later. I mean, earlier, yeah. I went to the gym. I went to the gym earlier, you know? 
I was doing uh, body weight squats to get my uh, tendons and my my joints just warmed up a little. I, I ran a little, and then something just clicked, and I just got out of there, man. I couldn't do that no more. I don't know why. You did that today? Yeah, yeah, later. Okay. Like uh, two wow. hours ago. What are you plans for tomorrow? You gonna go again tomorrow? I I think I've got no choice if I want to keep myself mentally healthy. I mean, that's the only thing that's been keeping me going since my breakup. Well, so. here's what you should do. Here's what you should do. Every day, just go. See how you feel. And uh, don't beat yourself up too much. If uh, you pick up a weight and you keep doing it and you're like, ah, eh, fuck, I gotta get out of here. But if you, every day, just show up. Wear shorts and go to the thing. Uh, and if you fail, don't, just don't, don't beat yourself up every time. Because if you beat yourself up, you won't even go. So just keep going. And don't beat yourself up too much if you have to leave. But just keep showing up every day and trying. So, just so make sure you try. Man. Just try every time. You don't have to succeed every time. You don't have to do 10 lunges and 10 squat things. Just just keep trying every day. You don't have to succeed every day. Gecko. Just try. Gecko man. Yes. So you should say I should just go little by little. I mean... Little by little. You, you say that tomorrow I'm going to go? Are you telling me tomorrow to go? Tomorrow go. Do legs. I'm, I did legs today. I'm, I, I'm, I've got problems with my MCL. I'm going to do, I'm going to do chest triceps. I'm going to do chest triceps, shoulders with abs. I'm going, I'm going to go, man. What did you say your name was? What did you say your name was? My my name? Yes. Oh, my name is Andre. Good luck, Andre. I admire your All right. I, all right. I love you, Gecko Man. Keep love being Gecko. Keep being man. Thank you. Have a good rest of the night. You too. Call from Joe Schmo. To accept, press 1. Joe. Hey, what's up, Gek? Joe, have we spoken before? No, we haven't, actually. This is my first time. Well, tell me everything. Man, I've had a pretty exciting day. Um, do you mind if I overshare? Do I mind if you overshare? Yeah, it's going to be some little, little, uh, you know, uh, Different, I guess. Sure. I mean, you've definitely piqued my interest. I think we're nearing the end of the night where I, 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 I don't mind if you overshare as long as I can disclaim to you that as we near towards the end of the night, I, I, I think that uh, my emotional juices uh, are, are, are not like drained, but they're yeah. nearing their bottom. Um, and as long as you're OK, well, yeah, as long as you understand that, um, I, I'm, I'm OK with you sharing as much as you would like. Dude, uh, I was really just going to say that, uh, you know, it's been a long day and my nipples are kind of raw. Ah, okay. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's just like, it's, that, that doesn't just happen. That doesn't just happen if I've had a long day. It's, there have been things involved with them that have caused it, but it's, it's been a long day. And what has caused the, this increased rawness of your nipples? Uh, you know, friction from other people. Um, friction from other people. I, I, Have other people been touching your nipples today? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just it's just a thing that I do. It's a thing that I like. You know, who all? Um, how many people have touched your nipples today? Today, just one. Just but one. it's it's okay. uh, one person, and they've touched it a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's just a thing that I, you know, I'm just. I'm just into it, you know. Who? Uh, what's your relationship to this person who uh, has touched your nipples today? My girlfriend. My girlfriend. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people they have their their things. You know, mine's a uh, excessive nipple usage. Sure, sure. You um, know what else? 
sort of okay so when you say you had an exciting today when you say you had an exciting day today it's perfectly okay if this is true but is all of the excitement of today sort of centered around your your nipples no no um you know i i'm prepping to go to japan in a couple months so it's been exciting figuring out a bunch of stuff about that you know i've never had a passport i'm 25 years old i've never had a passport and now i finally got one well are you going to just uh, your reasons for going to Japan, are they related to your nipples? Uh, you know, I wish they were, because that would make it even more exciting, but they're not. They're not. Okay. You, The way that you have presented yourself to us uh-huh. m- would make me think... I, I probably have an overinflated idea <laughs> of how much of your life revolves around your nipples, based on the information you've presented to me so far. Do you... Can you give me an example of how much you think it is? Well, I mean, just, just you know, by, by uh, you know, I asked you if, if you know, every, everything that you have said that you to me that you have do, done, I have asked you if it is related to your nipples. Like, you know, you going to Japan. I was genuinely yeah. curious and genuinely might have assumed that the trip was in some way, shape, or form related to the rawness of your nipples. Because you have presented me information that would lead me to assume that your nipples are like a, a central part of your life. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not uh, that that guy that would like. You know, I don't know if you've watched South Park, but it's just that you know that guy who like tells you your bills are due, and he's like rubbing his nipples while he's doing. I'm not like that guy. It's just sure. it's just fun for me. You know. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. 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 It's been. Uh, been a good day. So today's been excited because your nipples have gotten a lot of action. You are preparing to go to Japan. Anything else exciting about yeah. today? Oh, man. Uh, I ate a lot of cheesecake. I'm a cheesecake maker sometimes. That's one of my big hobbies. Uh, Do you ever take the cheesecake and... <laughs> rub them on my nipples? Rub them on your nipples. You know, I haven't tried that, but... It's not out of the question. I'm sure it's not. Um, you started this out by saying that you were going to overshare. Yeah. And asking oh, yeah. me for my permission to overshare. Yeah, you know, and I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I know you deal with a lot of people who probably have said a lot worse. But Do you, uh, feel, I, I do just... you feel as though you're making me uncomfortable right now? Well, I, I don't know how many people just, you know, regularly want to hear about someone's raw nipples. Why would I why, – why do you think that that would make me uncomfortable? Uh, probably just general consensus about talking about my nipples to other strangers. Um, sure. I mean everyone has their own things that make them uncomfortable. But, I, I you know, you talking about your nipples d- does, uh, does not make me uncomfortable at all. That's great. Do you want to say anything about your nipples? Um, no, not because it would make me uncomfortable, but because I genuinely don't have much to say about them. I got you. Got you. Plain Jane nipples. That's what they call me. <laughs> Do you think anyone would actually call you that now? Do you think I've started a trend? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. You can see. Word. Yeah. This might be the longest pause I've ever heard on this podcast. I'm probably, probably just excited, but you're excited. Yeah, you know, I've I, I've never really called into this before. This is my first night trying. Uh, I've I've lurked for a long time, you know. Probably about I saw you on TikTok months ago. Um. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Hmm. 
You don't own any cats, do you? No. Okay, so you don't. I was going to talk about how, you know, your question is, what do you see today? And um, I, I guess it's not something I, well, I guess I've seen it, but something I've observed a lot is that cats show affection in very specific ways by licking. Dogs, they just kind of lick you anytime, you know. But uh, I've noticed cats do it in very specific ways. And I've just, I've just kind of been very fascinated with it over the last couple of days. Um, what exactly about it fascinates, fascinates you? They, you know, it's not just like, oh, I'm, I'm checking to see if there's like oil on your fingers. I'm not checking to, I'm not checking to, you know, just, just lick you because I, I lick things because they don't lick things that often. They lick themselves often, but not other things. And, uh, but in, in, I have two cats and in very rare cases, they will just lick like my chin. No, you know no. They're not checking for Orioles that they are, um, licking your chin specifically to show you affection. I think so. I want to believe so. I mean, I have stubble on my chin and so I, maybe that feels good on their tongue. I don't know. Right. It's like a scratch on their tongue. Yeah. Yeah. But they've also got a scratchy tongue already, and I've never seen him lick just scratchy things in general. How does that make you feel, that your cat is showing you affection? Oh, it makes me feel totally uh, loved. You know, it's like repayment, because I found this little kitten in an apartment, and he had a hernia, an umbilical hernia that was ginormous. He was, like, dragging his stomach against the ground. Uh, it's like the size of a golf ball, and he wasn't even as big as a golf ball yet. And uh, I got that fixed for him, and he's just he just licks my chin ever since. It's like it's like he's showing gratitude. I feel very appreciated. Has um, oh, never mind. No, go ahead, please. Has your cat ever licked your nipple? No, no. I, well, okay. Okay. What did you say your name was? Here. Joe. Thank you so much for sharing, Joe. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me on, Gag. Love your show. Of course. You have a wonderful rest of the night. You too. Call from... Your secret admirer. Hello? Oh my god. Where are you calling from, champ? I cannot believe this. Wait, can I just connect my headphones real quick? Sure. Why not? Thank you. What am I going to do? What? Hang up on you? Why would I ever do that? Right, I'm connected. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? How are you? Where are you calling from? Australia, actually. Australia. I've been following you for what some time. time. What time is it, though? It is, drumroll please, 12 a.m. It's midnight. Just joking, p.m. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous, a bit sweaty. No, that's okay. Oh, it's, oh, so it's noon. Yes, it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. I need to stop looking at the chat. This is. Oh, please TK don't. Already. Don't look at. Don't look at the chat. The only chat going on here is between you and me. The famous words. I love it. Um. Hmm. What's your name? I'm Nate. Nate, and uh, yeah. who's paying for this phone call right now? Is it your mom, or are you? Have you made it? It's my dad. It's your dad. Okay. Yeah, I'm eighteen. How much, so. does, how much does how much does it cost to call me from Australia? You know the blissful thing about being younger is I have no idea. Sure. Well, how old are you? How old are you? Above the age of eighteen. Yes, I am. I'm eighteen. You're eighteen, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. Uh, are you? Wh where? Where are you in life? Are you in college? I'm still in high school, going through trials at the moment. I'm not sure what it's called over there for America, but yeah. You're going through trials. You know, what is trials? It's like HSC, higher school certificate. It's like a practice run of the real McCoy, of like exams and stuff. Mm, very uninteresting, I know. 
But what? I just want to let you know. Oh, you want to let me know, son? Hit me. Yeah, I've just been watching you from a distance and for some time now. And although you don't know me, I feel that I know you very well and in the inner workings of your mind. That's and how, uh, I just want to know. Work. Yeah, I just want you to let you know that I like what I see. Thank you. Thank you. I want some of that gecko in my life, you know? We can, we can, we can do that for you. Um, mm -hmm. You have been watching me from a distance. You've been watching me for, you've been watching me actually from as far away as you possibly could be watching me. Yeah, I guess you could look at it like that. Um, so, the inner workings of my mind, you say. What? Uh, mm -hmm. What? Hmm. Well, first of all, what do you what do you see? Um. Well, I was seeing you on the screen before, but I guess I like to think what other people see. Like, if I see a person and I know them really well, I feel like I see them differently than to see, say, how you see a person. You True. Know? So, sorry, so you feel like you know me well because you've been watching me from a distance. Mm. What? Tell, tell me, when Nick, you said your name was? Nate. N8. Nate. Nate. Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up, Nate? Something creative. I just can't imagine myself sitting down in front of a desk like I'm doing right now, studying for stuff. Um, Something creative. I, I don't know what that is, to be honest. Okay. Give me that gecko guidance. Uh, are you, are you trying to leave Australia or do you want to stay there? Um, I guess COVID kind of bugged everything out for us because we're still in lockdown, but I'd like to travel a bit, I guess, maybe domestically for the moment. You want to travel from around in Australia? Where, where, like, go to, go from? Well, I'm in Sydney right now, so I guess go down to Melbourne, change the scene, escape from the parents, maybe get my own mobile plan. Yeah. Sure, sure. You should, you should get your own mobile plan. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna find out what your father's number is, and I'm gonna ask him to directly cut, take this out of your allowance. Oh God, no! I'll be too much for that. Um, do you want to do something creative? What do you do? You do anything creative yeah. right now? Um, I'm doing art projects, textile projects. I made a suit. It's pretty legit. You made a suit. What kind of suit? Um, like a bellhop suit, like a bellboy. It's double-breasted. I'll tell you what, if anyone in the chat wants to see what it looks like, search up Tyler the Creator 2020 Grammy bellhop suit. And it's like a blue version of that. Tyler the Creator 2020 bellhop suit. Yep. What he wore is it to the this? Grammys. Is that, is, that what you, is that what you modeled this after? Basically. Um, but I'd like to argue I made a nicer version of it. Yeah, I'm being cocky. You gotta get Tyler on the phone, man. T next Grammys, he'll be wearing that shit. I'll tell you what, I'll try. I mean, I got through to you. Anything, anything's possible. Anything is possible. I'll call him. He, he, he and I are good friends. That's not true at all. Um, you know, that's good to know. <laughs> all right. So what? You want to be like a fashion? Does it? You want to be like a? Fancy Australian fashion designer guy. I can see that for you. I, like I mean, that for you. it's possible. Yeah. I like that for you. Well, I like you in general, so I guess that's a good combo. Textiles, you say? Yeah. What the hell are textiles? It's like what fashion design is called. It's just like fabrics and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should do it. You know what you gotta do? You gotta make uh, put some, make some shit on the internet, make some fashion design tips. Start a brand. Start a brand. I like Honestly, that. Honestly, I've you. been, I've really wanted to do that for a while. Issue is, I have a few friends that do the same thing, and I'm worried that I'm gonna chafe them. Like, don't look like it looks like I'm just okay. Don't worry. Don't worry what it looks like. Because here's the thing. There's a million. Okay, this is gonna sound cheesy. But it actually is true. Is there's a million fashion brands, but mm -hmm. only you can make 
what you can make. So that is your differentiating factor from the fashion brands that your friends are studying. Don't even look at what your friends are doing. Don't let don't let that into yeah. your mind. Yeah. Just create isolatedly. I don't know if that's a word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. And then when I'm at a point of I'm confident in it, maybe I'll reach out for collaborations and stuff. I know, dude. It's just that first step it scares me a bit. Sure, send me a send me a shirt, dude. I'll open it, and I'll be like, shout sure. out, uh, shout out, Nate Dog, dude. We will do a trade. I'll cop some of that lol merch. What's the name of this brand? Um, I was hoping we could brainstorm it together. Whoa, I thought that. Uh, are you, are I in on this now? I thought this was your brand. Yeah. Well, look, you can have a key part of the name of this brand. I don't want that. And if it's good enough, responsibility. Well, I don't want to have you know. to do anything for this. <laughs> Fair enough. I won't hold you liable to anything. Do you have any names? Honestly, I'm just worried about exams for the moment, and as soon as I'm out of school, that's what my I'm going to concentrate on. I guess. I respect that. Do your exams. I respect you. Go to school for tech. I don't know what the hell. Go to school for textiles. Only go. Only go to school if you can get your parents to pay for it. If you can't, then <laughs> I mean, they pay else. for everything else. Perfect. Get them to pay for that, and then uh, while that's going on, make your make your brand. Sounds pretty legit. What's your name again, Nate? Yeah. Nate, it's been good I've, talking to you, sweet cheeks. It's been good talking to you as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to get off the line so that your father doesn't have to pay any more money. Fair enough. Can I just say one thing? Is I really like it when your floppy... Thing? Well, then kind then, of. I like it when your floppy then, green then. toes are on screen. Call from... Dominic. Dom. Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? <sighs> What's your fantasy, Dom? Um... That's a good question, honestly. Uh, my fantasy probably just to live a happy life, honestly. Are you talk? Are you sound like uh, honestly? You're talking into a phone. That's talking into a phone. No, it's just that and that phone, phone is connected to me. Nope. This is like the third time I try to connect. Wait, this is the third time you tried to connect? Yeah. So your fantasy is to be happy. Yeah, just live, live a good life, man. Are you unhappy? No, I'm good right now. It's part, All right, it's so part your of fantasy it. has come true. So your fantasy is now reality. Not necessarily. Let me... Mm, let me explain more, I guess. Maybe, like... Sure. Just get, like, a great job, great house, great support, and then... What? What's your job now? Uh, I'm in college right now. What are you studying? Uh, I'm going for nursing. So you want to get a job as a nurse? Hell yeah. I feel like being a nurse is hard. I feel like you got to watch a lot of people die. Uh, it depends what... You, like... Yeah, I guess, yeah. It depends what you want to specialize in, too. So, so you want to watch? You want to be a nurse? You want to have a good house? How, what, what is it? What describe your dream house? How many? How many floors does it have? It doesn't have to be anything big. Just two or two in a basement. Nothing special. Do you want a partner? Uh, yeah. Why? Who? Who doesn't? There are people who don't want a partner. Yeah, I guess. I was in the people bathroom when the other to... Dom kid was talking, and I had my AirPod in, and I literally like was tripping out because I thought it was like I was like what. You thought he was you. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? What do you look for in a partner? What do you want out of um, a partnership? Just uh, loyalty and caring and nice. It's not much to ask for. It's all about personality, man. Hmm. Okay. So you want um, to date someone with a nice personality, and you want a house that has a couple rooms, and then you want a nice job? Hell yeah. You don't want anything crazy or fucked up. You don't want to, nah. like, rob a bank. You don't want to, like, 
go on a safari in Russia or... I mean, hey, that comes with the job. If you're making good money, you can do whatever you want at that point and go on vacation. That's not true. You can't make, you can't do whatever you want if you're a nurse. Hey, you get vacation time. You take, you gotta go trips like one at a time. I mean, obviously, how much vacation you can't time be... you get a year if you're a nurse? <sighs> like, I, like, I don't know. Time. Probably now you probably get none now because of fucking COVID. You gotta get you 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 you're giving up your freedom. Hey, shout out, shout out all the healthcare workers. Shout them out right now, all of them, doing their thing, man. Has it, has has this inspired you? Has the the pandemic inspired you to become a healthcare worker? Uh, I mean, I went through like an injury, so that's kind of what like uh, kind of what inspired me to be a nurse, and I kind of like helping people too. So, what did you what what did you injure? Uh, my leg. You injured your leg. Yeah, I, br- I was playing baseball and I broke it. You were playing baseball and you broke your leg. Yep. Did you win the game? No, but I did get the out though, so that's all that matters, I guess. Hmm. Dominic, you, I, I, I'm almost like depressed by, I don't know, not depressed. There's not. I think I'm bored. I'm bored. I think you're. I think you're easy to please. I think you're gonna be fine. I almost. I'm actually a little jealous of you right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little jealous fucking of trying you. to you're do a, a, a whole internet right thing, and you're just like, I just want to have a house and do a thing. And I'm like, all right, that sounds kind of nice. It sounds nice to just want to have a job and so I'm a house and for much, a dog. Right? You know. I'm saying, not much. How's your leg doing? Oh, we're good. I just have uh, metal in them. It generally, like, I can feel when it's going to rain. It starts to hurt. Did the nurse just give you, like, a shit ton of Xanax that you're on right now? Oh, no. This happened back in, like, 2017. Oh. Yeah, we're way, way past that. You there, Dick? Yes. I'd be watching the Instagram clips sometimes, and I'd be dying. I just showed my dad today, and he was cracking up. What's your dad like? He's a fucking great, hardworking family man. Supportive. Huh. Damn. And you have a good dad, too? I'm hella jealous of you. Are you with your dad? Uh, I think he's coming up. I think he's getting high right now, because he likes to smoke. Can I, can I talk to him? Uh, yeah, let me... Let me... Fuck it, let me go get him. Sure. We'll Sure. Are you proud of your son? Oh, I'm so proud. What are you proud of him for? What am I proud of him for? Because he's going to be a fine young man. Mm. Mm. Can I do ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Do you believe that um, his 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 being a fine young man is is a direct result of intentional parenting decisions that you have made? I'd like to think so. And what were those intentional parenting decisions? Uh, well, I didn't drop him on his head when he was a baby. That's, mm-hmm. you know, probably a good start. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't, that didn't shake him a lot, that kind of stuff, so. Did you intentionally decide, though, to not drop him on his head, or did you just kind of not? Nah, you know, I thought like about it a couple of times when he wouldn't stop crying, but after that, it was all cool. Sure, sure. Yeah. Anything yeah. else? Nah, that's about it, bro. 
You wanted to ask me a question. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, you, you being a gecko, is that a uh, direct correlation of how your father brought you up? Was he also a gecko, or are you some kind of cross between a gecko and something else? Like, what's up? Do you have a good relationship with Dom? Me? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, do you guys live together? Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Do you do you think he'll do well in? Um, he he wants to become a nurse. Do you think Dom would make a good nurse? Absolutely. If if Dom weren't um, a nurse. Uh, is, is there anything that you else that you think he might be good at? Uh, he'd probably be a good truck driver. What makes you say that? He likes trucks. Um, let's say that Dom came to you and said, uh, "Daddy, I uh, want you to find me a girlfriend." Um. What kind of, uh, of, of, of woman uh, would you look for to set him up on a date with? Huh. That's a good question. I'm not really sure. Are you still married to uh, Dom's mother? Sure. Absolutely. What is Dom's mother like? What does she like? What does she like as a person? What does she like to do? What does she like to drink? What are you talking about? What does she like as a person? She's a very loving person. Loves her son. Loves her family. She's what about cool. Dom? Do you think he's gotten from his mother? What has he gotten from his mother? Mm -hmm. eh, I guess all, all of the above. What does his mother do for a living? Well, she's a uh, she's a phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? Me, I do uh, I do this and that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What, what is the that? It's not the this. <laughs> it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Sure. Yeah. It's pretty deep. So where's this show coming from? Where are we live from? Um, I'm in various mountains, deserts, and forests. No shit. The deserts of Rhode Island? Or the mountains? Which part are you in? Could you describe what you look like to me? What do you think I look like? I think you look like... I think you have a big nose. Right. And you have... Like... Fuck, I... Ugh, fuck, I can picture what you look like in my head, but I can't... It's, I'm having a hard time, like, describing it. You look like one of my dad's friends. You look like... One of my dad's friends who owns a car dealership. Car dealer? I'm, I'm, I'm no salesman. You're no salesman. But do you think no. you'd be a good salesman if you tried it? No, nah, probably not. I'm not a good bullshitter like that. Do you, do you, you don't think you're a good bullshitter? No. Do you think that you're typically, typically honest with people? Eh, nine times out of ten. What do you do for a living? A little bit of this. Some of that. Do you have any advice for me? Do I have any advice for you? Yeah. Um, I don't really, don't really know yet, but I mean, I can see you're dressed up as a gecko, and I don't know if this, it, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, but is this, thank you. Like where, like, is this, how long is this going on for? Where do, where do you see yourself in ten years? Are we still? Are we still a gecko, or like? 
Are we did we become professional and like be a real therapist or? I'm Philly, bro. I'm I'll have to think about that. Do you want like a road tour anytime soon or anything like that? I I, I did I did a little road tour. I did yeah. A road tour. Where'd you go? Would you Would you come see me if I did a if I went to your town? Absolutely. Uh, what town? You don't have to tell me like the specifics of where you live, but what town are you? What What city are you near? Like a big Philly. city? Or... Okay, I'll, I'm I'm coming to Philly at some point. Are you? When you coming? Yeah. I'm hoping to come uh, like later this year. Yeah, that's cool. You buy tickets? I do work checking out. I check it out. What's like the highest? Like, would you buy tickets for like for like ten dollars? Ten bucks? Yeah, I guess I can squeeze that out. <laughs> okay. What yeah. if there? What if it was twenty dollars? Would that be too much? Oh my god! That twenty bucks for like a what, what am I getting for that twenty bucks? We, we meet and greet and we have we having a beer together or what? Um. So you know the conversation that I'm having with you right now that a bunch of people are listening to. Yeah. It would be, it would kind of be like that, but with but you would be in the audience listening to me do this with other people. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and, I don't know. I mean, uh, we could take a picture together. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. Ten, twenty bucks. Don't okay. answer. Don't answer for twenty five though, because. No, no, no I, I don't think it's worth twenty five. Okay, I don't think so either. Sweet. So, well, it's good talking to you, bro. Good talking to you too. You have a nice uh, you take care now. I love you. All right, love you too, pal. Here, talk to the boy. Yeah, what's up, Gek? Thank you so much for um, sharing your father with me. Yeah, it was pretty entertaining. He's a um, pretty lit guy, isn't he? Yeah, I like him. Hell yeah. If you're definitely coming to Philly, we're definitely there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good talking to you, man. Good talking to you. Have a great night. Have a good night. Thank you.